It is amazing that you can actually decide the best pro range for your home with so much conflicting information on the internet. Some of this will assist you into buying the wrong range. So let me help you here a bit. There is no one best professional range. However, one brand or model will be better with features designed for the way you cook. In this video, you'll see a comparison of the top Google searches for best pro ranges. Wirecutter, a division of the New York Times, and AJ Madison, a New York internet retailer, were first and second on Google. We'll compare their list to ours and talk about the pros and cons of each range. So you'll have three unique perspectives and nine ranges to consider. I'll also clear up some misconceptions along the way. At the end of the video, you'll be able to narrow your choices to one or two brands. Wirecutter chose only dual fuel ranges. While most brands do have more features in their dual fuel models, gas is a moisture heat and better for roasting. Broiling is also better in gas, especially with an infrared broiler. So if you like to broil and roast, dual fuel is not as good of an option. They talk about sizes, aesthetics, and basic performance criterion. It's interesting, so are their choices. Let's look at each. Wolf is one of the best all-around ranges you can buy. Their service rates on the article were accurate because they were our service rates. Their power and simmer rates were accurate as well. First, they mentioned the griddle and grill, yet their choices are all burners. Wolf uses an infrared grill and griddle so it's fast and hot. It burns most of the drippings off the grill with its intense directed heat. They mentioned induction briefly in the article, but if you're looking for speed and electric cooking, then the Wolf 36 induction is a better choice. Induction is faster than ProGas with a far better simmer. The reason to buy this range is the grill and griddle. Wolf also updated their dual fuel and induction ranges in June of 2021 with Wi-Fi and LCD screen, the Wolf Gourmet settings so the oven can determine time, temperature, and even rack position when you input the food and how you want it cooked. And of course, their Vertacross blower convection system. Blowers deliver more consistent air than fans for more even heat. His output is good, but a few brands offer more output, namely Heston at 30,000 BTU, Blue Star at 25,000, SKS at 23,000 versus Wolf at a 20,000 BTU max. It doesn't have steam functionality or any type of steam assisted or steam oven. Wolf is also only available in stainless. Then again, most brands like Miele, Thurman, or Janier, SKS are stainless only. Blue Star and Heston offer colors. So does Viking and La Cernue. Wirecutter has the basics covered. They talk about the M touch panel and easy navigation. Their steam functionality is also briefly mentioned in its bread baking capability. Once again, the grill and griddle are excellent in Amila. What's missing in this critique is the ease of use. You should buy Amila because it's simple. Touch a button and the range can calculate time and temperature. It's the reason to consider this range. The service numbers are also wrong, Mila. It's the most service dual fuel range, not the least. The back burners are underpowered at 13 and 12,000 BTU. Service is a bit high for their dual fuel. Mila has no Wi Fi functionality. Most of the benefits are basic, but Wi Fi should evolve to be a time saver. Mila will have to address that in the future. Surprising choice because Monogram is not widely sold. We don't even sell it at Yale. They didn't mention why they like it so much other than the price. The output is decent at 18,000 V2 per burner. It simmers well. They've improved the unit with Wi-Fi so you can control the range remotely. It's the same price as the others with single convection. It doesn't have steam functionality, but then again, steam is a cool feature, but probably not the primary reason you're buying a range. The author does a nice job of explaining when to not buy a pro range. Venting limitations are number one. I agree. In fact, plan your venting before you buy the range. She's also right about induction because it requires less venting. Space and budget are also mentioned. Price after rebates, however, is not as wide between a pro and a regular range as they are in the past. Then they discuss why you should buy a pro range. Size is mentioned, high quality parts are as well, but that's kind of tricky because it doesn't translate into fewer service calls. Then again, AJ, like most dealers, doesn't service what they sell. They do have extra modes to her point. 
steam convection oven. Thermador features a full steam oven instead of a side oven. Steam will allow you to cook healthier without cooking out the nutrients. Warming drawer I mentioned will keep food warm up to three hours. One of Thermador's best features is their extra low intermittent simmer. It keeps the lowest temperature at 100 degrees. Home Connect, their Wi-Fi app, is the most highly rated. You do have access to recipes as well through the app. Lastly, Thermador is affordable with their one, two free rebate. The dishwasher is free with this range. You do have induction capability with the Thermador Pro brand as well. The output is good, but you have others with far greater, up to 30,000 BTU. The grill and griddle are electric, not gas. So they take a while to heat and are a bit harder to clean. You only have a clock in the program versus the more advanced controls of the Wolf, Mila, SKS, and Heston. It's single convection and not as advanced as the others. Their selection was the Pro Grand, but the Harmony series is more popular. It's not available in a 60 inch, but it is offered in a 30, 36, and 48 inch sizes. Four burner with 23,000 B2 max output. The other three burners are 18,500 for a good amount of power with four induction zones. Induction is much faster with a better simmer, more child safe, and easier to vent as well. More companies are starting to include it in their pro ranges like SKS and Thermador. Having four induction burners is an exclusive to Fisher Paco. This unit has four burners, not five. The five burners are available with a griddle on the side. Touchscreen interface is more robust than most of the pro ranges. Fisher Pickle is a new range off the old DCS platform. You can't buy a grill with this brand and it's single convection. Let's see if it works before we put it in the top three of any list. Finally, an all gas range on this list. Blue Star's power oven is one of the only pure convection gas types for more even temperature. Their Prima Nova burner is one of the highest output burners at 25,000 BTU, along with a few other higher outputs at 22, 18, and 15,000 BTU. Nobody likes a grill or griddle. The Blue Star Platinum series is all burner only. Their RNB series has the built-in grill and griddle, but they're not infrared. The interchangeable grill and griddle on the Platinum is freestanding, meaning you put it over the burners. The griddle will work when heated, but the grill, no way. Blue Star now has a thousand colors and 10 trim styles, along with their on-demand. You can download a JPEG or a picture to be the front of your range. 75% of all Blue Star ranges are purchased as a custom color Yale. Blue Star prides itself on no technology. Forget about steam and Wi-Fi. You don't have clocks, timers, or self-cleaning. Both AJ and, and Wirecutter did a nice job, but didn't ask how you use the range. With that in mind, let's look at our three top ranges. I don't have the best, by the way. The best is the combination of the features you use the most. You're probably different from the others watching this video, so buy like it. The key is identifying those features. The all gas meal doesn't have the M touch or steam functionality of the dual fuel, but it's still twin convection and self cleaning even in gas. Meal is also the most cleanable with racks you can leave in your self cleaning range and dishwasher safe grades. The infrared grill and griddle could be the best in the industry with the highest output. At 23,000 BTU, meal is the hottest boiler. You can see here at 23,000 BTU, it's like a Lynx outside sear burner. So you should consider a meal in all gas if you like to roast or broil. However, half the burners are not pro caliber at 13 or 12,000 BTU. The all gas range is not available in a 48 inch model. Yes, an induction range, why not? Dual fuel uses electricity as well. The new Wolf has just about every feature, plus induction, as we said before, is faster than gas with a better simmer and you vent less. It's easy to clean and your toddler can't turn it on because induction needs to sense metal. You also have Wolf's gourmet setting with 50 pre-programmed recipes. Also, as we mentioned, you input the food and how you like it cooked. The range figures time, temperature, and even rack position. Lastly, is Wolf's new convection system it uses vertical blowers for better airflow and even cooking. It doesn't have a grill or griddle. You can't buy their induction at a 48 inch size. Wolf is a bit pricey as well. Because it is an electric oven, you can't boil and roast as well as an all gas.
Heston is almost the same in all gas and dual fuel except for self-cleaning and a swipe control clock in dual fuel. You have a 30,000 BTU center burner. So if you like to use a wok, you'll like that burner. Range also features 23 and 15,000 BTU burners as well for range design for output. Heston's also solid. Their igniters and burner tops are solid brass. The grill is controlled by temperature instead of one or two settings like most of the others. So you can cook by recipe. And their pure vection oven is single convection, but performed as well as Blue Star's power oven for even heat. Heston is also available in 12 colors. It's new, so you have to check service before you buy. It has no grill option either. Steam and Wi-Fi are not available in Heston yet. So you have nine ranges to consider, from all gas to dual fuel and different styles and brands. At face value, it's pretty confusing. So step back a bit and realize there is no one single pro range for everyone. But before you buy a, a nine to $20,000 range, figure out what features you use the most right now. Buy the combination of, of features for the way you cook. Don't buy a bloggers, newspapers, or other critics critique of what they think is the best by yours. Click the link at the end of the video to download our free pro cooking buying guide with tips, trends, and reviews of all the best brands. Thank you for watching.